So now we're going to do another programming assignment. This is our second programming assignment and getting a general introduction to programming using the best programming language in the world, which is the Go programming language. And the reason it's the best is it's created by Google and Google is awesome. All right. So for the second programming assignment, we want to store some numbers into some variables and then do some math with those numbers. And, uh, and the first thing I want to show you is that you can just do math. You can just do straight up math here in programming with numbers. And then the next thing I'll show you is we'll show you how to store it in variables. So here we have the Go Playground. And I could just print out and take out Hello Playground. I could do 2 plus 3. And I could run that and it's going to give me 5. I could do 2 plus 3 times 7. And order of operations is going to be... Uh, first, it'll multiply 7 times 3, a, a multiplication and division, and then it does the addition, adds 2 to it, right? And so if we wanted to do this stuff first, I could do that and put parentheses, you know, normal order of operations for math, and that was like 5 times 7 is 35. And you can do division, divide by 5 is going to be 7, right? 35 divided by 5 is 7. And in which case it does it left to right and so there's seven but you could just do math right here so another way we could do that is we could store those values in variables and so we could say number one is colon equal right uh, or X let's do X X is equal to 45 Y is equal to colon equal colon equal de short declaration operator is equal to let's not start with zero equal to that number and we could say x plus y and then format all that to make sure it's formatted correctly and uh, run it and it adds the numbers together and so you know that's really helpful when we have big numbers it can help us figure that out so that's how all you have to do for this assignment is just you know create some variables assign some numbers to them and then add them up the numbers that are being assigned here are integers they're ints they're of type int if you tried to do something like this that is now a float. The number stored there is a float because it has floating point numbers. And uh, you can't, they're two different types. We have a float 64 and an int, which are trying to be added together. So if these are both float 64s, we could add them. You can't mix your types in programming with static programming language, statically compiled programming language like Go. It wants you to be precise about how you use your types. So, so that's a little introduction, doing some math. Uh, in programming using the Go programming language.